Hello guys, today I want to show you how to fix the common analog drift problem of the Xbox 360 controller. If you have the problem that your analog stick doesn't uh, go back to the center virtually, like now, I put it down and then I let it go and yeah, now it doesn't center properly, I have a fix for that. I already tried to uh, desolder the stick and really solder a new one in but it doesn't fix it at all it even make it uh, make it worse and uh, yeah I don't think anymore it's a problem of the stick I think it's a software pro problem I don't know why but yeah I found a fix for it and if you have the same problem you've tried everything and it doesn't work you can use this way or if you're just lazy and don't want to solder you can use this way uh, anyways so you have to download a little tool it's called Durenso you can get it on the website I put the links uh, all in the description go, you go and download and then over here you click on Durenso over, over here you already get the newest version if you downloaded it you extract it with uh, WinRAR into a folder and then you have all those files. Then you start Durenso and after that you can first go to test. In the test menu on the top you can see your actual movement of the stick. Like now my stick is a little bit off center to the bottom right. So on, on, on the bottom you can see what it's like when you set the dead zone. So now you click on settings, set your dead zone, you have to try a little bit. I now try to set it on 5% so I can show you. I set it on 5% now. Now you can see on the top my movement is a little bit to the bottom and on the bottom it's as well a little bit off centered so I have to increase the dead zone a little bit I found the best for me is 20 so I set it to 20 now on the top it's uh, still off centered but on the bottom it's in the middle so now I can move it a little bit and it doesn't move in any direction but if I really want to move it like now it moves perfectly to the, to the direction I want it so if you've done that if you finished with the settings you can close the Renzo and yeah now you have all those files I explain now what you have to do with those files each file is for yeah a different game I say in uh, the internet on this website I put the link also in the description you can find a couple compatibility list where you can uh, find out which game uses which file. For example, uh, this one uses the 9.1.0 version. But most of the games use this one. X input 1 underline 3. So now you have to copy those files, this one, and the any uh, data into the game folder. <coughs> I show you that. So now, like in Steam or in any other game, you go in the game folder and then you just drag those files or copy those files in. In my example, for BeamNG, I had to copy those files in the main folder, then also in the bin32 folder and in the bin64 folder. To get it to work and another important thing is if you have a 64-bit game you have to use those x64 files so in the bin 32 folder you use the normal files and in the bin 64 folder you use those files but most games anyways 32 so yeah, you don't have to worry, just use those files, only if it really is 64-bit, use those files, yeah. And as I said, you have to 
check out the comp compatibility list to find out which game uses which file. And sometimes you have just to try out which file works for you. Yeah. Now I'll show you that it works. I start the game. So now I'm in game. I go to options, controls, uh, hardware. So, and as you can see, down here, my that's my stick, my left stick, and it's perfectly uh, in the center. When I move it to the left a little bit, it works fine, and to the right also, up, down, as well, left stick. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy now because of the recording, but it works absolutely fine. You can play the game as well as before. The stick problem happened, and yeah. So, I hope I can, uh, can help you, and yeah. If it helped you, please leave a thumbs up, and yeah. Then I would say bye-bye, have a nice day, and ciao.